Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, May 31st, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, just a couple days after the last one, we got another a diary from Brad. This time it's about Modi Loader, also known as DBAT Loader. A sample that Brad found just on Monday. It uses the ISO file trick. Remember, since Microsoft made it more difficult to execute code from files downloaded directly from the internet, hiding them inside ISOs was sort of one trick to avoid some of these restrictions. We have a simple executable that then also uses OneDrive to communicate a cloud service that of course is less likely going to raise suspicion, in particular in a Microsoft network. In the end, the victim ends up with Remco's RAT, a well-known remote admin tool, of course, the malicious type of remote admin that you're going to invite in your network. More details, packet captures, samples, and everything you need to follow Brad along as he analyzes the file can be found in links in the diary. And Microsoft published a blog post with details regarding a vulnerability that Apple recently patched, CVE 2023-32369. This vulnerability allows bypassing SIP, the system integrity protection. SIP is important because it does prevent attackers from altering system binaries, and the only way to officially bypass SIP is to disable it if you're booting the system into maintenance mode, which of course not only requires physical access, but also requires access to an administrator password. But what Microsoft found is that the migration assistant, or at least the components started by it, which is used when you're migrating your system to another system, also has the ability to bypass SIP and it can actually spawn bash and Perl, which are interpreters that you can then use to execute arbitrary code. And this is kind of what Microsoft used here to exploit this, and that led to the vulnerability. They also managed to start that component without actually having to start the full migration assistant, which again would require the user to reboot the system and log in which of course requires a password that an attacker doesn't necessarily have and couldn't be done remotely, but they were able to use this vulnerability to completely disable SIP remotely. Again, this has been patched by Apple in the recent update on May 18th, so one more reason to actually get that patched. And we have a few new and old vulnerabilities to talk about. OpenSSL released an update today fixing a denial of service vulnerability, CVE 2023-2650. And Barracuda did release uh, details regarding the uh, vulnerability patch the last week, CVE 2023-2868. This was the vulnerability that is already being exploited in the wild. I mentioned it a couple times. One sort of significant new issue that came up in this uh, post by Barracuda is that the vulnerability actually was uh, first spotted as being exploited as soon as October 2022. It was used in more targeted attacks, but still something that you should be aware of if you're doing some forensics or such on an email security gateway by Barracuda to take into account that this vulnerability may have been exploited earlier than we thought. And Trend Micro has a pretty good write-up of what it calls the White Rabbit Zoo actor and uh, how sort of their focus has shifted over the last few months uh, since October 2022. What interesting kind of issue here is too that uh, they are using ads to advertise some of their malware and yet again chat GPT and tools like this come in here where the tool is basically advertised as some kind of chat GPT uh, client. That's I 
think right now pretty much the biggest risk that I have seen actually been used uh, exploit in the wild with uh, these tools is that uh, just the hype around them just like with any sort of big news item is being used to trick users into installing a malware. And finally, we do have new vulnerabilities in Cycel NAS devices, a command injection vulnerability, and in the collaboration tool Nextcloud. So time to update this if you are using it. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. And uh, by the way, there was a, a nice sort of uh, wait just an infosec podcast today with Ed Scotus and uh, Betsy Marchand uh, from Sandstone Edu talking a little bit about the college. So if you're interested, take a look. I'll add a show and link to the show notes. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.